Hi everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. I thought I would show you my completed Traveler's Notebook insert and what's currently going on in my A5 slim or wide size journal, as well as my currently inked pens. So this one's finally done. It ran from June 22nd. I ran, I used it used to my journal challenge videos. This, uh, I started in June and finished by mid-July. Cover here is the sticker from the stamp caravan and some stamps that were gifted to me and labels that were from Pen Pals. And I just wanted to show you the idea of what goes on typically in these journals. And that is to basically add ephemera when I feel like it and journal all around it or journal and then stick in the stuff. Um, this was the pen show. I have a cute tag from my friend Kathy. I had this glued in and the glue is not sticking so I added washi. And this was from Kathy, this cute little like tuck spot for a journal. I added a few things around it and it was kind of fun because I found in the gold spot catalog the picture of the pen that I bought at the pen show. So I cut that out and put it there. And from Marcy, this washi happy new pen day. And a few stickers. The seedless watermelon is just a sticker I had. And I thought it was kind of fun, so I put it there. Here's a lot of cards that I got. Um, the back of every journal is usually several pages of pen testing. This is from um, Danica58 on Etsy, and it's the B7 bulky paper, similar to Cosmo Air Light. She did specify to me recently that one big difference with this and Cosmo Air is this tends to not have the problem with oils from your hands making the ink not adhere. Did recently buy some new notebooks. And the funny thing is I placed an order just a few days ago. And as soon as I hit that send, you know, pay button, I'm like, didn't I just order some official A5 Slim sizes? And sure enough, like two days later, these came in the mail. I had forgotten that I had ordered. So um, I just marked here. I've kind of got my front cover starting and this is an example whoops, of um, some page decoration. I was watching some shows last night. Uh, kids were gone. My husband's out of town. So I just watched some documentaries and had fun decorating my pages while doing that. So this is a combination of ephemera stamps that I then went back and colored in. I inked up the edges and added some of the Stalogy dot stickers, little collage corner here. And then I do like to use these travel magazine pictures. They just look so beautiful, makes it more inviting somehow. So sometimes I get the urge and I just decorate pages. Other times I don't and I just write and stick in stuff as I want to. Washi is such a handy little decorative tool though, I think. And then these items are from Hana, and thought that made kind of a fun little collage. And then I just put on some washi that picked up on the color scheme and sort of tried to tie it together. The blue does pop. This is a U.S. stamp back when they were eight cents. And I think that was fun that I got that from Sweden, but it's a U.S. stamp and from a long, long time ago when they were eight cents. <laughs> Okay, so that's that. I am enjoying this size notebook quite a bit for my everyday journaling. I currently inked, has gone through quite a rotation lately, but I have kind of settled on this at least for the next week or so. My Twisby Heat Broad Nib Pen actually felt pretty dry for me with uh, Noodler's Habanero in it, which I love that ink, but it did feel dry. And so today I thought, you know, I'm gonna clean it out and try an ink that I know to be really wet with my other pens. And so I put in um, Deatramentus Alexander Hamilton and 
it's been really nice. This is the regalia paper. So I just thought I would jot this down on here, but so far in writing on the B7 and my Cosmo Air light, it's worked really well. I was a little bit disappointed um, that this was so, it felt so dry. I'm like, okay, you either get a super gusher or it's dry, but with this ink, it's, it seems quite wet, so um, it's good. I think it's good. It's like how I like it. And I just put a little ink in because I wanted to play around with it before I committed to a whole full barrel. In my Twisby Eco Cement Gray and Broad, I have the Diamine, Diamine um, Earl Gray. I was curious to try that. I've seen a lot of people talk about it. And it is a nice gray. And as it dries, there's a decent amount of shading. And then this is the Pilot Vanishing Point. Ooh, it's squeaking. Sometimes it does that. People have said that's with the broad nib for some reason more often. I don't always have that happen. It might be the paper and this together kind of cause that. But this has the Ackerman Deepwater Blue in it. And this is just always so nice to write with. I do love the deep water blue. It's a good match in that pen. It's very smooth. I don't have any trouble with it writing ever. I haven't had my Leonardo inked up in a while. This is also broad, and this is like the um, Venetian Lagoon, Venetian Blue Green Lagoon. A couple different names I've seen for it. Um, this one I inked with, let me write this. We'll just say Venetian blue. Um, this is Monteverdi's Moonstone. I tried that earlier in my Caveco Brass. It's a sample I got from Marcy at Marcy Me, and I like this combination quite a bit. This is a nice flow, nice smooth nib. And for some reason, I don't pick it a lot to write with. And I'm not sure why, because it's a very pleasant writing experience. Works good for me. I think I just get in my Twisby habit because they are always easy to grab and ink up. I don't know. I'm not sure why really. And then this is, again, a Twisby 1.1. This is the glow green, if you can't tell by how it's showing up here in the lamplight. Um, this is another sample I got. So I wanted to try Earl Grey, and I wanted to try Earl Grey Tea by Dominant Industry. This reminds me a lot of the Robert Oster, can't think and write, uh, industry, um, Robert Oster's fire, Campfire Crackle, but without all the Campfire Crackle shimmer. Um, I have used a ton of oranges over the last month or so, though, and I think I'm, I, I like it, but I'm also sort of wanting to try some other colors for a while but it is a really pretty orange very bright get a little bit of shading with it and it feels really nice and smooth coming from this pen and then in my franklin christoph model 03 um, antique glass it's plastic or acrylic but looks like glass I have, I'm going to have to write to remember, oh yeah, Tachia Olive. Great ink. Oh, this combination is so nice. There's a little bit of a feedback feel, but it's smooth. It gushes. Um, it's not super wet like this one, 
but it just comes out in a very, very nice way. Like very ample. But not like super. Well, it might be the paper too, because on other it does come out a little bit more wet, but the quotation marks there are still looking liquidy. It hasn't absorbed yet, so wonderful combination. I had mixed feelings about this pen sometimes. I'm screwed again. Um, the grip section is almost a little narrow to me. And I've had a little bit of a challenge finding an ink that I like with the nib, but now that I have found a few, it's so much fun to write with. That's all. That's what's going on in my journal world. Finished one, working on another, having fun with my pens. So hope you're all doing good. See you again next time. Take care.